Hey, what's going on guys, Exiled here. So ever since the Legendary Hunt update in Apex Legends, we no longer seem to be able to cap our FPS. I had a comment on one of my older videos asking me how to do so, and in this video I'm going to show you how to really easily do this using third party software. Not only am I going to show you how to cap your frames in literally any game you play, I'm also going to show you how to add your FPS in the corner and how to also show your GPU usage and your CPU usage, which is uh, the main two that I use. You can obviously add other statistics in the side of the corner, but those are the two main ones I like to use, so it's not taking up too much screen space. Originally, when uh, we were not able to cap our frames any longer, I searched the internet, I was trying to find a new video to show me how to do so, but most of the videos are a bit older, so I thought, well, I might as well make a video now that I know what I'm doing to show you guys how to do this yourself. So if you haven't heard of MSI Afterburner, I'd be kind of surprised, but you may not have heard of it. This is a great free to use GPU monitoring software, and it also is really great for overclocking. So it is free, like I said, and I will have the links down below. So to start off, you're going to want to download this. The link will be down in the description, but I will show you how to do so in this video. So MSI Afterburner looks a little bit like this. You can basically monitor everything, but we mainly use this just for our GPU fan speed and overclocking. So what you want to do is you want to go down to the bottom where I've provided the link and click on it and download it. Once you have downloaded this, you want to move on to River Tuner. This here is the software we're going to be using to monitor our frames, our GPU and CPU usage. Obviously, again, the link will be down in the description and obviously you want to download the recommended latest version. So once you have both of them installed, you want to run your MSI Afterburner. I have it pinned down here to my taskbar, so we're going to run this now. And as you can see, I accidentally um, downloaded an older version of it, so it doesn't look quite as fancy, but it does the same thing. You know, you can set your fan speed, you can set all of this sort of thing. But what we want to do now is we want to click on River Tuner. This here starts up with MSI Afterburner, so you don't have to worry about starting it separately. And as you can see, this is what it looks like. Now to start off, obviously, I'm just going to show you how to cap your frames. And it is extremely simple. Right here, frame rate limit. I have capped mine at 120. You can literally put in whatever you want. So yeah, I just stick to 120. So type in 120, hit enter. Boom, save. So now to move on to how to monitor our frames on screen. I highly recommend turning Origin in-game off as I noticed I got a bit more of a steady frame rate once turning Origin in-game off. So definitely do that. Now I'm going to show you how to monitor your frames anyway so you don't need it in the first place. So in MSI Afterburner, you're going to click on the settings. Go over to monitoring. And right here is where we're going to set our settings that are going to be running in River Tuner to uh, monitor what we want. So you can literally have everything monitored, man. Uh, it's going to take up a lot of screen space, so I really don't recommend it. For me, I just want my GPU temperature, my GPU usage, and obviously my CPU temperature and my CPU usage. Uh, if you get a little bit confused, it's just CPU 1. Simply click what you want to use and make sure show in on-screen display is ticked. It'll come up saying in OSD, on screen display, whatever, you can do the rest of them. Just make sure that is ticked, otherwise it will not work. So we can untick both of those because we've already got what we want. Simply press apply, OK. It's as simple as that. So now I will run Apex Legends to show you this working in game. I will set my fan speed, 65 seems to be good for me. So let's get into it. So if you weren't aware, originally you could go into the game properties of Apex. And in the advanced launch options, you could type in command lines. And that was originally how you could cap your FPS. But because people were changing the files and getting rid of muzzle flash, I think they just completely got rid of this altogether so that none of that could happen. Anyway, we're going to launch Apex Legends. Play. And as you can see up the top here, we have our GPU, CPU temps, and our percentage. Also, our frame rate down the bottom here. Doesn't take up much of the screen space. And it's as simple as that, really. Let's jump into training quickly. Now I definitely recommend capping your frames if you don't have an amazing computer because it really puts a lot of strain on the CPU and GPU if you have it on unlimited. I also find that the game doesn't play very well when you do that either. So definitely cap it at, I don't know, 120. You can cap it at 60 if you don't have the greatest PC. Uh, it's still playable of course. PS4 and Xbox One play on 60 frames. So yeah, 
It's as simple as that, man. I just thought I'd make this video because I know people really were kind of confused when they could no longer cap their frame rate. And yeah, for the person that commented on my video, here is the answer, my friend. And I hope that uh, I helped and I hope it worked out for you. Anyway, guys, if you have any further questions, make sure to leave them down below and I will try my best to answer them for you. I hope the video helped. If you did enjoy it, drop a like, subscribe for semi-average content. I don't know, you might enjoy it. And I guess I'll be seeing you in the next one. Peace out, man.